The human heart is an extraordinarily complex organ. It is at once one of the most powerful organs in the body and also the most delicate. As a pediatric cardiologist, you have to be able to visualize this organ because ultimately people's lives depend on it. But visualizing a complex three-dimensional organ on paper really doesn't give you the full picture, which is why we decided there had to be a better way. This is Dr. David Axelrod, a pediatric cardiologist at Stanford. And with him is David Sarno, former LA Times journalist and the founder of Lighthouse Inc., a company that creates interactive 3D visualizations. Together, this unlikely duo of Davids are revolutionizing the way doctors and patients understand the body. They can get right inside the heart, look around at the different parts of the heart, and be inside really what no one's been inside before, which is a living, beating heart. Dr. Axelrod is talking about a bit of technology called the Stanford Virtual Heart, and it's creating an entirely new way to visualize the organ. The human body and healthcare is just a very fertile ground for using the power of three-dimensional storytelling to explain these complicated concepts that are actually really important. The Stanford Virtual Heart uses 360 graphics to explain congenital heart defects, which are some of the most difficult conditions to comprehend, partially because these defects occur before babies are even born. As the fetus is growing, the heart folds and grows and develops in a very complex fashion. And the congenital heart defects are really difficult to understand because at any one of those stages of development, there can be an abnormality. So the Davids created a way to visualize some of the most common defects at a huge scale. Using the Stanford Virtual Heart, you can actually see how the heart behaves when it's experiencing abnormalities. So first you put on the virtual reality headset and you're standing in an environment where you see kind of a library of congenital heart defects in front of you that you can select from. What you can do is basically aim at any of the different conditions and kind of tractor beam it down by pulling the virtual reality trigger and the heart comes down in front of you. You can pull on a lever that then does what we call exploding the heart, which basically takes the heart into its main components and separates them out. And then the second is that you can transport yourself inside the heart. This interactive technology has the potential to help a lot of families. In the United States, nearly one of every 100 babies is born with a congenital heart defect. That's about 40,000 babies per year. The heart, like many organs in the body, is a complicated and highly refined machine. And that complexity makes the heart's anatomy extremely difficult to comprehend. For most of us, when we think of a heart, we visualize the Valentine-style shape with rounded edges and a point at the bottom. And the reason that that's so commonly drawn is because it's easy and it's flat and it's easily understandable. But as you get closer and closer to a real anatomic heart, it's very difficult to describe and, and to draw and this is something David Sarno learned firsthand while researching a congenital heart defect at Stanford's Lucille Packard Children's Hospital in 2013. I have a picture that the surgeon drew for me right before he went and operated for, you know, eight or ten hours on a three-month-old baby. Kind of looks like a bunch of little tubes and one of the tubes has other tubes coming out of it. This sketch to me has become kind of a totem of the work that we've been doing over the last few years. The complicated sketch is what inspired David to create an app that would make the heart's anatomy more approachable. The app was a success and caught the attention of Dr. David Axelrod, who wanted to elevate the technology and use it to train doctors. We decided to work together to try and bring all of the congenital heart defects into virtual reality. So that's what the Davids did. And the result is a game changer. One of the things that the VR heart allows you to do is to make mistakes and to maybe misidentify something or um, if you're simulating a surgery to cut somewhere that's not in the exact correct location and then you can try it again. And being able to practice surgery over and over again is what makes the Stanford Virtual Heart revolutionary. Med students and fellows typically only have access to animal hearts for practice, but with VR, doctors can simulate human heart surgery in a completely new way. And this kind of training could save thousands of lives. What's more, the magic school bus learning style this technology provides is transferable to other parts of the body. 
and as the healthcare industry continues to tap into the endless possibilities of virtual reality, we'll likely see more doctors trade in their pens for headsets. If you're intrigued by virtual reality, you should check out the Seeker VR channel, where there's a lot of 360 adventures. In this video, you'll find out what it looks like to be eaten by a lioness. And while you're there, please be sure to subscribe.